I recently went on a trip to Washington DC for my first time ever and I wanted to take you along with me. We arrived in DC and immediately we were driving to the place we were staying. It was so freaking cute. The people we were with took me to this one bookstore and it was just freaking adorable. They had so much cute decor. They had like a whole separate area that was like a cooking area. They had this whole little area that was being created out of a vault. And unfortunately it was not completed by the time that I was there, but I am so excited to go back sometime. I went in knowing that I really wanted to get oysters and luckily I was able to find it on a random shelf. And then I also treated myself to a lady for a do. After we were done at the bookstore, we took like a cute little walk on all of these like brick roads and just like really appreciate the area. It was lit up so cute. And then we also got dinner at this really awesome Mexican place. So that was fun as well. The next day, we started going to some of the museums around the area. We ended up going to um, a modern art museum, and I loved this one room. All the people I was with were just kind of like freaked out, and they were like, this room is really weird, makes you feel weird, and I'm like, but that's the great thing about it. Like, it literally just made you feel so many like emotions. There was like sound going on, like all of the drawings and words like really took you out of yourself so it was so cool and then next to that there was a sculpture garden where i saw some fun sculptures i definitely appreciate just all of the buildings around it was so pretty um went to another art museum this one is like the national gallery of art so i was like well i if it's the national gallery i have to go and expect some good things so i had such a fun time here i loved so many of the things it was so beautiful beautiful on the inside with like all the plants and the light coming in and so I just thought like the whole museum was just beautifully created. One thing you'll definitely see throughout these clips is I am obsessed with ceilings and like architecture so you'll see a lot of like ceilings in this video but they are just so beautiful. I also found this painting which you probably recognize from my year of rest and relaxation. One side was all of like your kind of traditional artwork and then you take this little tunnel and go to a separate section that is more focused on modern art. So that was fun to get a little bit of both. Um, later on we went to a brewery to end out our day and then we started with our next day. We started off our day at this cute little cafe with some coffee and some treats and we actually stumbled upon this cute little farmer's market. We walked around got to see a bunch of things. I definitely got some of these postcards, but the real reason we were in this area was for Capitol Hill Books. So we went there. This was such a fun spot. It definitely felt like a maze. Like it was literally like an Ikea, but for books and there were just shelves everywhere. Like you could so easily get lost. I did have a lot of stuff that I wanted to get done with the day. So I didn't really get to explore too much and like really dig for some good finds. But I did get a super cute bag here as well as buy sexual book and kind of like a little bit of the history of um, um, and like culture of bisexuality. But then we moved on to a, another bookstore that I was so excited about. This one was East City Books and this place was freaking adorable. I would describe this place as just colorful and cute. They had so much color everywhere. The way that they really laid out their books was adorable. Um, they had like nice little reading areas and I loved all of the little displays they had. They utilized like a lot of writing for like staff picks or you know if you're interested in reading a book like this like you might want to pick up this one and so it was so fun. I ended up getting this book, The Appeal. The next place we went that I was so excited about was the Library of Congress. I definitely looked up photos beforehand and oh my gosh this looked stunning. You walk in and just like 
everything is gorgeous. You can see more shots of the ceiling. There is so much architecture, like the marble being like cut into beautifully. There are those fancy ceilings with all of the artwork. There were these adorable like little quotes with like paintings all around the um, building as well. So those were so pretty. Um, there was like a separate room um, that you could like go and view that was stunning there were like thomas jefferson's books on display another thing that i really appreciated was it wasn't all about books they had like a little um areas for like photography and for music as well so you will definitely see those later on overall absolutely obsessed with this spot and I am definitely glad I went. Not to hit people over the head with more book content, but like the Library of Congress, even if you're not into books, worth it. It was gorgeous. We did just a bunch of walking around for the rest of the day, kind of looking at all of these different buildings. We saw the Supreme Court, we saw like the Congress, we saw the White House, and all of those different places. We did end up at a art market as well and I absolutely love art markets. I definitely got some things here like one of these bracelets. I got some stickers for Washington DC and I just love walking around and looking at art. There were also these super cool like book related items. So like they had book purses, like coasters from like children's books. There was also this super cool stand that had all of these miniature little like scenes. And those were so cool to walk around and just look at all of them. Like honestly, I would go to a museum and look at those. We did go to a brewery to wrap up our day and then started out our next day with brunch. This was our view and you could see like three different states and like DC from like that one view. So it was so pretty. We did do a little bit more walking around before we had to get back on our flight. Thanks for joining me exploring DC and all of these fun little bookstores. If you enjoyed traveling with me, please like this video and let me know if you've ever been to DC. If you haven't, what would be your number one thing that you want to do there? Until next time, keep reading!